Hey guys, it's Jim. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another requested review. This is another request from Mike. Thank you very much. If you're interested in requesting a review, check out the link in the description. So this is a request for another Michael Mann film, and it's Michael Mann's 1983 little-known British horror film, The Keep. Now, I was really looking forward to this. Obviously, I reviewed Manhunter and um, Thief, and I love Heat. So I really, really do love Michael Mann as a filmmaker. But this was a fascinating little venture for him. You know, a you know little kind of mysterious, odd horror film. British horror film. It wasn't that great. But you know what? I enjoyed watching it and I got something out of it. This was really in the experimental phase of Michael Mann's career. Like, he was completely throwing everything at the wall and seeing what would stick here. This is an extremely odd, bizarre, crazy, experimental horror movie. And I like that element about it. I just feel like overall it didn't really cohesively come together. But that didn't mean I didn't enjoy watching it. So this is about a bunch of uh, Nazi soldiers uh, back in the war. They go to a little village in Romania to occupy it. And they go into this massive kind of keep. And they occupy that. And the keep is kind of mysterious. It's wondered whether there are forces in there or whatever. And then the force kind of escapes. And it starts picking off all of these soldiers. Now, first off, that's one of the problems with the film. Everyone in it is Nazis. <laughs> I don't like them. Obviously, I'm not going to like, you know, I'm not going to sympathise. So everyone who is getting killed, I don't care about. And I also don't enjoy watching any of them. But it kind of goes along with a lot with theme of this film. There is this kind of religious overarching theme of judgment. It's almost like the Alien 3 feeling this, you know, where it's just a group of bad people getting picked off and the kind of idea is that it's kind of morbid and horrible and nihilistic and everyone there deserves to die and this and that and this is the final judgment there's kind of that feeling behind it but again it's just difficult to watch these characters knowing what they are what i do like is i like the sense of gloom i, I like the sense of darkness and mist and rain and dirtiness in this it really does feel there is a mood created by michael mann in this and he very much is interested in setting this kind of um enclosed uh kind of um imposing um weather and mist and the whole feeling of it and the keep is a great setting it really, really is obviously loads of um, passageways and places to get lost it's a perfect place for a kind of entity to stalk characters and there are some good scenes in this there, you know there's a character who's kind of working against the nazis and the entity in this kind of heals him of his illness, of his, um, and, he, and he kind of de-ages him. And that's a very powerful, crazy moment which does stand out in the film. There's also this disturbing moment on the battlefield where one soldier comes out and confronts the entity. And there's just death and destruction all around him and greyness and, and mist and this and that. And he comes face to face with the entity. There's, there's memorable visuals in this. What are you? Where do you come from? Where am I from? I am... from you. When you see the entity, even though the special effects aren't great, there is still a sense of spectacle, there is a sense of um, dread to the character. I always feel like he looks a bit like Mr. Freeze from the Batman animated series. Does anyone else see that? Michael Mann is known for these films full of music, but this is taking it to another level. And it's just lots of Michael Mann just going, right, music and slow, crazy scenes of the film spinning and close-ups and this and that. And it just feels a bit too experimental. I feel like Michael Mann managed to reel that style in with his later films. I feel like Michael Mann kind of mastered that style. Here he, he really does seem like he's just trying his best to kind of indulge himself. And it just doesn't really cut through. And at times you're just like, what the hell is any of this? Like I never know what I'm supposed to feel in this movie. And that's, that's a problem. I don't know if I'm supposed to view this entity as this demonic anti-hero. I don't know if I'm supposed to sympathise with the Nazis. Which... I'd rather not. And even the religious characters in this who are against the Nazis are pretty unlikable. No one's really likable in this. But maybe it is the theme, overall theme of judgment. I don't know. 
but I couldn't get behind anyone. And the acting was pretty phony. Every performance was pretty bad and cringy and stiff. Death around you. Your hands! No. And what you sense is my fade in the death camp. A place where people gather to die. A place where people are murdered. My people are murdered. Yes, and others small over here. For me, I was kind of reminded of Hellraiser and the kind of body horror films. Even though this isn't full of gore, it just feels very earthy and very morbid. And that reminded me of Hellraiser. It also has this 80s charm to it, so it also reminds me of Hel of um, Highlander. The way it just has these slow motion moments and characters, you know, with the score playing. Big shots of, um, you know, in spectacle of the setting. Kind of reminded me of Highlander, so I've got that 80s feel to it. I know that Michael Mann isn't actually a fan of this film. You know, while it's not a great film, I do see some good in it, but I do agree with Michael Mann that he it could have been handled better. It, it, I feel like there's a really great idea in here, but I feel like it's just delivered in quite a cringy way. Like, every moment there's a good scene, there'll be a cringy scene. Every moment there's a good line by character, there'll be a bad one. It's also not very scary, and that's a problem because it's a horror film. I feel like the entity is not... He looks good, and I like seeing him, but he's not very scary. I don't know, I just, the scares aren't there, the frills aren't there, it's very slow, very stiff, this film. The film also doesn't make much sense, there's this character who turns up who looks just like Lance Henriksen, I genuinely thought it was him and I had to look it up. And he turns up and he seduces one of the character's um, daughters randomly, and she, she just meets him on a hill and they start kissing and seducing, and it's, you know, that's very... 80s music video like but it's like who is this guy like I don't know who he is I don't care who he is you know and he stays mysterious and he's supposed to be the one who comes up against this entity but he's like not got a presence so it's like I'm not invested in, in him coming up against this entity there's no one who gets built up in this film as a threat to the entity it's very strange this emotionless guy with his blank expression comes up against the entity and it's like it's supposed to be an epic ending but I don't care about him so it's like okay I'm not, I can't root for him here and there isn't any suspense there isn't you know this doesn't get built up and you would think with the setting of the keep that it does but he doesn't really utilize the setting it's a great setting but he doesn't use the passageways he doesn't use the sense of isolation he doesn't use anything about the setting to get you feeling um, enclosed and a sense of um, fear he doesn't have that there's no fear to this it's just throwing stuff out of wall and seeing what would stick and again this isn't his desired cut so maybe he didn't really want to do that but it just it doesn't really work overall but I am glad this film exists because it's one of those fascinating films to look back on you know every filmmaker's got those odd films that you look back on and you're like this is bloody nuts. Thanks for the request, Mike. Anyone interested in requesting a review, again, link in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone. I recommend you watch the Michael Mann movies that I've re reviewed on behalf of Mike. I recommend you watch The Keep. You know, it's worth a watch once, but it's not... Don't expect much. Just put it on as a time waster. But thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe if you're a movie geek just like me. Check out the other videos on my channel. I'll see you guys soon.